Hi guys, so far we have learned two hooks that is use the state and use effect. Now in this video we are gonna learn the third hook that is use reducer. Now as the name suggests use reducer. So basically we have learned this redux part right and in the redux we have seen this reducer part right and we are gonna see the same thing happening in this use reducer that is given by the react now let's begin with that now basically that we have learned this use state and we are going to learn this use reducer the both have the same work to store the state but react give this use reducer as a way to solve some uh, you can say solve some complex logic and that's what we're gonna see but you can use both if you want to okay so let's begin with one practice example we're gonna create this advanced counter right we have created this counter in our use state and in here i'm just gonna create a advanced counter so I'm just going to export it in advanced counter name and just importing in here. Now will be imported in here. Now first of all we have to something we have to write some JSS code right. So I'm just going to create this div. Okay and inside this div I'm going to give one again one div. And in here, I'm just gonna create h2 tag inside this curly braces. We're gonna write some JavaScript code, uh, JavaScript expression. And basically, we're gonna use this string interpolation, right? Now, in here, dollar sign, we're gonna provide something, but we don't need right now. Uh, we're gonna provide the state, right? So we have written this. Now, in here, what we need, I'm just gonna close this div now we will get this counter right now in here what we're gonna do we're gonna create three buttons in here first button will be a increment button such that the symbol is plus and the second one is for minus such that we will decrement by one or any number that you want to and the second one is for reset reset this whole counter now yeah it's happening yeah now in here we're gonna create or we're gonna use this new reducer right now the new reducer that i have said so new hook that is use reducer so it's basically the same thing that we have seen a const and it should have a state and second one is a action or a action that we're gonna dispatch and in here I'm gonna use this user reducer inside this we're gonna provide a reducer function that we're gonna define outside of our advanced counter and second one is initial argument that you're gonna pass so right now the initial argument you can give it is count one is to zero right so just provide the init now we haven't defined this reducer right so let's see what this reducer means right we have seen our uh, reducer in our redux the same thing we're gonna provide in here so what we need we need a reducer it's a function first argument is a state okay now in here we have seen our uh, in our redux that we have to provide a default value but actually we have sent this in it you right in it state inside it and the second one is action right the action that we're gonna provide actually we haven't seen what this action is 
so uh, let's see after this now in here the same thing that we have done now in here you can use action same code that you have right in your redux code right action dot type now it's checking for cases like increment one if it is we're gonna pro dispatch then what it's gonna do it's gonna increase by one right so we're gonna write this return statement and state and count one is two state dot count one plus one now there is one default value right now what happens at default value we can give return state because we have a default value this in it now in here what we have to do once again that we have to provide another case that is uh, sorry decrement one And what it's gonna do, it's gonna return the state with count one state dot count one minus one. Now I have um let's see that there is some error in here. It's really this function name syntax is wrong. Now it's correct, as you can see here that it is correct now now what we have to do this one is done we haven't provided it for this reset right so let's uh, do, uh, do for that also so reset if we dispatch one action that is reset what it's gonna do it's gonna return the state and we're gonna spread the init this one this init const such that count one is to uh, is column to zero now what we have to do in here that i have said that it's going to provide the state right and the second one is that this dispatch function right we can provide any name that you want but by convention i'm just going to give provide this state and dispatch now what we can do in here we can this is dollar sign and state count one so as you can see here that we got this zero now what we can do we can provide the dispatch action in here that is on click and this is a function so if i just write in like this that we're gonna dispatch one function now in here as you can see that accent dot type so we have to provide one key right so inside this key we have to provide this increment one you can do the same thing like just not provide this type in this uh, uh, you can uh, uh, you can have to provide because so that you have to just uh, uh, defend um, just change the logic such that it will be matched with this switch statement in here now in here this uh, increment one is uh, uh, completed now in our here what we can do we can uh, provide another dispatch function so inside this dispatch function we're gonna provide this type that is decrement one now again other we're gonna provide this on click again we're gonna dispatch one function that is type is reset now this is complete let's see in action that it is correct or not so as you can see here that is it is correct now if you just go to your react dev tools and just go in here as you can see here that we got this reducer we have this count one and if you just increase in here the value is also increasing and if you just reset is also reset 
so actually this is the overflow of um, using a user register in here but uh, in the coming videos you're gonna see the more advantages of user reducer so you can create uh, many dispatch functions or action type or you can also just provide the payload from here also you can provide some payload that you want to use in your there like if you just provide the payload to five okay if you just provide the payload to five what we can do next is just provide this count one to action dot payload so we just have created one new key and that we're gonna get and that we're gonna pass to this reset case and just given to here now what we can do in here if we just reset it will be reset to this value uh-huh okay so it will reset to this value and it will start from there right so this is the main thing i'm gonna attach the use reducer documentation in the uh, given file uh, even given video so just stay tuned for the next hook that's all thanks